it was fascinating with what was happening. Retired teacher Karen Kahn and her retired dentist husband Randy bought a condo in the 96 unit Morgan Trace complex about seven years ago. She's a member of the Homeowners Association board here and was stunned to find out the complex was losing its insurance late last year. The board scrambled to find another insurer, but could only get one that charged double what they were paying for less coverage. The board is covering the extra costs with cash reserves this year, but will probably need to raise HOA fees significantly next year. 75% of the residents are retired and on fixed incomes. How are you feeling about all this? Scared. Like I said, my husband has Lewy body dementia. I uh, just had a hospital bed delivered today. My neighbor across the road was just taken to the hospital today in an ambulance. We are a close community. Those living at Morgan Trace aren't alone. Insurance industry experts say this is a growing trend nationally for condo owners and for those in HOAs for condo complexes, with insurance companies pulling their coverage after huge losses down south. Are insurance companies dropping out of the condo market nationally because of what happened in Florida? It is a national issue now, and we are seeing certainly a tightening of the Master Condo Association policy market across the country, and it's becoming more difficult for associations to find affordable coverage. Indeed, Friedlander says some rates nationally have gone up 100 to 500 percent for condos and HOAs following that 2021 collapse of a condo tower in Surfside, Florida. Now, many here like Khan are wondering what's going to happen if costs keep going up. But my husband is in the later stages of dementia. What do I do on teacher's retirement with 2000 a month, 2100 a month? Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.